do the punting. Sanders to receive it at the 40. There's a flag down, and Barnhart got buried. Sanders brings it back to the 47, but we're going to probably have a, a roughing call. Tracy Johnson, number 43, ran into Barnhart. And that's the signal from Howard Rowe, the referee. Early in motion. Again, the fake to McAfee, and then he dumps it off for Jordan, who makes a juggling catch. He makes the catch before stepping out of bounds at the 42-yard line. It's a gain of about five. That's Martin in motion. Hebert from the gun throws an out pattern. It is caught by Martin, and Martin has a first down. Two way people. Dalton Hilliard is the sole running back in this set. On second and 11, over the middle, a nice catch is made by Quinn Early. A first down at the Atlanta 40. He is tackled by Bobby Butler. 10:35 remaining in the scoreless first quarter. Bear escaping pressure, throws, the catch is made at the 28-yard line by Eric Martin. Another first down. Made from the 26-yard line. Six minutes into the game, no score. Hebert stepping up again. Over the middle, wide open, touchdown, Turner. Oh, Dion. Saints have it at their own 39-yard line, first and 10. New Orleans is up, 7-0. And Bear to the air again. Bear hits Martin. Martin with the first down before he's taken down by Jordan. And Bear, after missing on his first two attempts, has completed the last six. The Falcons better be concerned with 84, Martin. Third and four at the 36-yard line. 5.30 to go in the quarter. 7-0 New Orleans. Four-man rush. Bear over the middle. Hits Floyd Turner. He's inside the 20 and down. 14-yard line, tackled by McKayer at the 14-yard line. Hebert, the fake, throws, and this time he hits Turner again down to the 6-yard line, a little short of the first down. He's sandwiched by Case and Sanders. They come up in a two-pack set, they break it with motion, they give the ball to Buford Jordan, and he bangs his way, he pinballs his way down to the 4-yard line, stopped by Duggan, and it should be a first down. With Dalton Hilliard, the sole running back. Third and goal from the three. Bear throws. It's picked off in the end zone by Deion Sanders, who is tackled in the end zone. That is a touchback. Crowd in an uproar. And the catch is made by Pritchard. That's a 15-yard gain. We and Chris Hinton. That is a, that's a matchup that works well for Atlanta. First and ten, rising stays in the block. The catch is made by Haynes. That's a first down. He takes it to the 43. He has been their big play man, a guy who averages over 22 yards a catch during the regular season, and he begins the playoffs with a 22-yard reception. Quarter, New Orleans on top, 7 to nothing. Falcons from the same 40, and a sack of Miller, and a loose football. No signal yet from the officials, and now it is a fumble, and New Orleans has it. Not the New Orleans Saint that gets it. All right, Hinton stays inside, and Fralick is late coming back to the outside, and it was Jackson that comes in and hits Miller. That's a blocking scheme, Frank, that's very tough to be effective with, pulling a guard all the way out to get a blitzing linebacker. And I went to the Pro Bowl this year. First and 10 at the 48-yard line. Early in motion. McAfee. Bang forward for a gain of nine. Ricky Jackson. Second and a long one. McAfee again. McAfee found the hole, picks up the first down, wrestled down by Scott Case at the 33-yard line. Hey Bear for Turner again, but he is out of bounds. Turner is out of bounds at the five. Coverage by McIver. I think his right foot, let's check where it lands. The right foot looks like it landed in. If he could have dragged that left foot, he would have had a catch, but pretty tough to do with a ball that was thrown that far outside of it. 45-yard field goal attempt for Morton Anderson, one of the best ever. And that looks like a kick off the foot. A jump. 
but get back on side and Miller to throw on first down. This is Pritchard with a convoy in front of him and the rookie from Colorado picks up 15, his second 15 yard reception of the day. Five yard line. Here's Mike Rozier. Nice move by Rozier to break tackles in the backfield and turn what would have been a loss into a seven yard gain. Reggie Jones knocks him down. Two, 10 minutes to go in the half. 10-0 sink. Rozier on second and three. Has the first down a lot more. Takes it across the 50. Stopped at the St. 48-yard line by Milton Mack. But sometimes it's just luck. <laughs> second and 10. And over the middle, the catch is made by Mike, who normally goes further downfield. He is stopped at the 40-yard line. He is short of the first down by about three. Milton Mack is there on the tackle. And it's Rozier bursting through the middle, picking up five, keeping the drive going. First down at the 35-yard line. Eight minutes to go in the half. First and ten at the 35-yard line. Here is Rozier again. Inside the 30 and hit down at the 28-yard line by Gene Atkins. Second and three at the 28-yard line. Rozier again. This is his fifth carry, and he takes it to the 22, and that's another first down. He's averaging about seven yards a pickup. Johnson in on the tackle with 6.30 to go in the half. Rozier yeah. can't get on track. Loses the football. Saints have it at the 27. The play has been reviewed. Events for the Falcons, though. Third and 12 at the 24-yard line. Miller throws, and they take advantage with a touchdown to Ryzen. What a break for the Falcons on what clearly should have been a fumble. The whistle is blown. They keep the ball, and they cash in at their own 20-yard line. Miller airs it out for Hayes. But there is no flag. It is intercepted by Banksy Glenn. But never has an Atlanta-New Orleans game been more meaningful than this one. Miller throws. The catch is made by Haynes. And their big play man turns into big play, taking it to the 44-yard line. He said this is definitely the year to be a coaching free agent. <laughs> Rozier is back in the game as Miller gets set to throw, nearly gets sacked. He was sure he was going to get sacked by a phantom and then gets knocked down by Frank Warren. And remarkable. Third and 11 at the 45-yard line. Here come the Saints, and it's a little oh. cut off into unbelievable traffic and intercepted by Sam Mills. They have to work with the quarterback, and he said he's just not had the time to work at it. Third and eight, rising in motion from the 28. Miller has the first down. Haynes makes the catch. He takes it to the 12-yard line. They have one timeout left, and they utilize it right here with 55 ticks left on the clock. In 44, he tries to tie the game. And he does. So he couldn't find a home in Seattle for 91, but he has really found a home in Atlanta. At times you see poor decisions made. Fred McAfee will take it out of the end zone. Breaking tackles. Great run back to the 35, and a flag comes in as well. That might be a face mask. That came in late. There are two flags, actually. That's the type of thing, as you said. That's what happens. You get the hands high, you're going to find a face mask every now and then. Saints with all their timeouts left, and over the middle, here's Dalton Hilliard. Oh. He takes the ball into Atlanta territory, and they're already in field goal range, getting it to the 32 timeout Saints. From the gun, Atlanta nearly jumped, but they got back. No flag. Bear dumps it for Hilliard. Hilliard gets to the 30. Now you're looking at a 47-yard field goal. Timeout with 11 ticks. Mo Gardner with the tackle. Four wide receivers. Hilliard adjoins a bear in the shotgun. Three-man rush. Over the middle, the catch is made by Carroll. Timeout. He gets to the 18, and now you're looking at about a 35-yard field goal. And New Orleans has the lead. 
Well, well, we see the cow play here. That's exactly what they were. <laughs> Throwing it back. If they don't watch it, the Saints could get a touchdown here. <laughs> well, that's quite a way to end it. And as we said at the very top, the Falcons live on the edge. Through the first 30 minutes of play. You can see the Falcons have improved a little bit their time of possession deficit. Have gobbled up some yards at one point in time there, well into the first quarter. They had nothing. And three tour turnovers so far in this ball game, and there could have been more. Miller stepping up, throwing, finds the open man, rising. And he goes out of bounds at the 38-yard line, and that's a first down. From the 38 on first down, Miller going to take off with it. And he is out of bounds, a little short of the first down as he gets up to the 47-yard line. Both pulling and Jackson. Second and one. Here's Tegram exploiting the hole, getting into New Orleans territory, taking it to the 43. And that is a first down. The Superdome asking them to get into it. From the 43, Miller again avoids the sack. And nimbly picks up the first down. Right. Lots of action. Second and 10 at the 32. Let Pritchard has it over the middle. Pritchard takes it down to the 20. Atkins was coming from the outside, opening over the middle, and it's exploited by Miller to Pritchard for a first down at the 20. It's almost impossible for an official to see it. Second and 10 at the 20-yard line. Lost it. Into the end zone for Haynes, and it is a touchdown. Michael Haynes. Even with Reggie Jones, the cornerback, and now he blows by Miller with a great shot. Now watch the blow by Vincey Glenn, and for the receiver, he knows he's going to get hit. That was a great effort of something. Third and three at the 27-yard line. A bear. And he hits Wesley Carroll, and the rookie having a big day. He takes it to the 39-yard line, and a same first down. In motion is the play clock ticks down. A bear on second and ten. Throw. And it's a beautiful pass uh -huh. caught by Turner just before he goes out of bounds. First down. The left on first down for the 33. Now they send the tight end Tice in motion. The fake to Hilliard. And look out, and it's for the first time today, A Bear gets sacked. Big number 99. Well, we say big. He's really an undersized defensive end, but he looked pretty big to A Bear right there. Tim Green. Saints. A Bear from the gun. Bobby to throw, they have to get to the 23 to convert, and they do on the catch at the 22 by Quinn Early. 13, late third quarter. Hebert just dumps it off, and it's incomplete, and Bear goes down, and a flag goes down well after the play. Oh, well after the play is exactly right. So Hebert very slow getting up, but still in pain. Howard Rowe refereeing his first postseason game. Intentional grounding. Loss of down. There was no receiver in the area. It was a good call. Third and 18 at the 31-yard line. Four-man rush. A bear fires to the 20, and it's oh, yeah. a flag comes in as Brian Mitchell is flagged for interference. Their game against Auburn, but he has turned into a great cornerback. Second and 12. Each team's had the ball just once in this quarter. Here's McAfee who runs oh. right through Donaldson and takes it down to the 13-yard line where it's going to be third and five. If you can drag it out there, you drag it out. Third and five. A bear. Lofting one, and it is oh. incomplete. Turner almost came up with it. McKayer with the coverage. One-yard field goal attempt for Morton Anderson. Barnhart to hold. Was spotted at the 21-yard line. Atlanta jumps, flags it down. There's no play. Watch out because if Tuggle, Jesse Tuggle, was across the line, this will be a New Orleans first down. Very close to it. Or real good. They appear to be about exactly five yards from a first down. 
They usually use that yard marker fairly accurate, and it looks like it would be a first down if it's five against Atlanta. Prior to the snap, we've got contact and encroachment. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a McAfee behind Jordan. Takes it to the four-yard line. Stopped by Fuggle. On second and goal. McAfee takes it down to the one. Tough runner. Scott Case makes the tackle. With Jordan offset. Face in motion. They give it to Hillier. They're standing at the Superdome. The Saints have never won a postseason game. They lead by three. 20 to 17. Saints. That drive wrapping over to the fourth quarter. 10 49. They began at their 20. Miller finds the open man. That's Pritchard. Nice move. I swore the rookie from Colorado, he takes it across the 50 to the St. 49-yard line. And we'll this is a stationary building that's shaking. Second and six. Miller throws, low throw. Is it caught? Yes, it is. Somehow, some way, at least ruled on the field a catch. Yard line with rising in motion. They try it on the ground. The rookie Pegram. Enough for a first down. He takes it to the 37-yard line. And 10. Here's Pegram. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. They have to get to the 27 to convert. Miller throws. And he picks up the first down as the catch is made at the 20-yard line by George Thomas. Warren gets him by the shirt and sacks him at the 25. Miller throws to the 18, and that's going to make it easier for Norm Johnson as the catch is made by Pritchard at about the 19-yard line of the game. And the, 20, crowd, 20. <laughs> and the crowd reaction tells you whether that was good or bad. Mm -hmm. Well, it's about as close as it gets because there's a difference of only two yards as the Falcons, oh. after their last scoring drive, results in a field goal tie of the game. <laughs> Falcons showed a seven-man front. Bear throws it over the middle of the tight end height, and he has a first down. First down at the 33. Wainwright in motion out of a three tight end set. Oh. Fumbles. Atlanta has it. And Robert Lyles recovers. And as stated before, McAfee with a fumble in the regular season game that led to New Orleans losing that one here in the Superdome to the Saints. Oh. And he comes up in the red gun, the four receiver set. the ball. It's a scramble at the 37-yard line. Ken might have got it back. No signal yet. Well, Ricky Jackson started all of this, no matter how it ends up. Ricky Jackson again takes matters into his own hands, and you see the signal fourth down. They're indicating that it's Atlanta's ball. Not even close. Deflected. Somebody better cover it. Still well, loose. Well, I, Covered yeah. at the 19-yard line. The Saints could have, without a, any chance at all, picked that ball up and taken off with it. First down from the 37-yard line. Hebert's pass is incomplete, but there is a flag. Early was looking for the flag, and the flag came late, but it came. From the 45-yard line. Four-man rush over the middle. Martin has it dislodged. It is incomplete. 
from the left side as Miller looks that way. Miller throws. First down. Andre Risen run out by Gene Atkins up at the 37 with 3.35 to go. Haynes makes the catch. Haynes in Shane territory. I believe to Bourne and raised in New Orleans has just scored a touchdown that may have taken the Saints out of the playoffs. We talked about his 4-2-9 speed and you saw it. He is a blazer. Carroll comes to the left side. Atlanta rushes three. And Abair throws to Quinn early. He makes the catch. He's up to the 24-yard line. It'll be second down and three. Counting down. It's second and three. Oh, yeah. Flag down. Over the middle. This will come back. Turner. He gets to the 40. That won't count, guys. That was motion against the Saints. Okay. Bear pumps, throws, Martin makes the catch in his forward progress, nets in the first down. Up at the 28-yard line, a first down for the Saints. And step up and throw it. And he did it well. Bear for the middle, the catch is made by Martin. He gets popped again up at the 38-yard line. This is to go 61 yards, 128 left. Atlanta well, can give up an awful lot. They won't give up anything big. Three-man rush, A Bear. He'll run out of bounds near the first down marker. He's a little short of it. He's out at about the 48. Again, Atlanta rushes just two. And Bear throws. The catch is made by Martin. And he's out of bounds with a first down at the 36-yard line. Let's One to, ten remaining. Let's move this game to the airport. Bear throws. And it's picked off at the 30-yard line by Tim McHire. And McHire's going to gamble by flipping it to Sanders. They should just fall down. That's not very smart. No. But they live on the edge, and they keep living on the edge. And they're going to go to the playoffs on the edge. Are they for real? This is Joe Fish back for a touchdown. Well, two of the, on two of the stupidest plays I have seen in a long time. I don't mean to be critical. He but loves all you got to do is fall on the ball, and the game is over. They take two chances like that and end up scoring a touchdown. Amazing. Glanville loves that. Look at it again. It was certainly close to it. McHire picks it off. Remember, he did this two weeks ago in Seattle. He lateraled to Deion Sanders. Sanders took it in for a touchdown. Now that definitely is a lateral. Here's Sanders again. Great speed. But all you got to do is fall down. The game's yeah. over. Oh, I know, but they don't think that way. And it comes right down from the top, Jerry Glanville. Now let's take a look and see this, if this could have been a forward lateral. It's real close. Watch his feet. Where are his feet going to be? That's not bad running, though, is it? He's, He's just the, outside the 40. Uh, that appears to be a forward lateral. That's a forward lateral. They could bring it back. It is a reviewable play. It really doesn't matter, though. The only thing that would matter no. would be the final score. No. They can run the clock out. Just for the review, we've got an illegal forward pass, <laughs> which is a five-yard penalty. On the receiving team. But the fact of the matter is, Glanville has now taken his teams to the playoffs in four of the last five seasons. Any one season? So. And on a kneel down, this one is over. So the Saints' season is over. New Orleans wins the West, but they go home or they stay home as it is after another postseason defeat. Yeah, now this Jerry Landville continues on with the wild card Atlanta Falcons. What a disappointment for New Orleans. They started back in July, and now it's all over.